Hey everybody, it's Sunday. I uh, just finished up uh, watching uh, the Carolina Panthers lose and uh, getting ready for my Packer game to start here in a few minutes against my now home state of uh, Arizona uh, Cardinals. So, time for a shave. It's been a little while, so don't want a video. Shaved yesterday with a killer, beautiful shave. I'm going to repeat most of that shave today. And uh, thank uh, David Bradner for uh, the gifts he sent me, the soap I'm going to use today, and the aftershave. And then he also sent me Two Soap Smooth products. Never tried Soap Smooth, so these will be uh, coming very, very soon. I've got them on my uh, ledge of things I need to uh, go through to try for the first time. My uh, razor day, I'm going to do just probably two passes with my G Bar. Uh, soap and aftershave will be Beaver Woodwright Shipwreck Cove. This stuff is phenomenal. First time using their aftershave was yesterday. And my brush came in a couple days ago. I've used it. Uh, twice now and it's uh, from Mervyn Cadman in the UK he sent me this um, he wanted people to test out a synthetic knot so he uh, sent it to me um, he, I just told he said what kind of handle do you want and I said whatever so he he came up with this and I'm a diehard Packer fan so it's got green so I obviously love green see so very cool and just so you can see it's not wet yet but this is gently you can see it doesn't give it's got a lot of backbone do the same thing with the first version of the Ubersoft. You could, of course, this is a little more fan type. Kind of see the two different uh, types. So it's going to be a little bit different backbone to begin with. But you can see this gives a little bit more. And then we'll go with the uh, always interesting Lasan. You can see that just, yeah, no backbone. So it gives you an idea there of uh, the synthetic and how it works. So I'm going to dunk it in my water, get it a little wet. And then what I did yesterday, and it worked real well, I just wrung out the water, shook it real quick. Puck was blooming and went to town. And I did, I wanted a super, super close shave yesterday. So I actually did four passes all the way around on my face. And then I did two on my head. And the load, you can see it loads up super quick. Um, so right there, that's going to be enough. Um, but I was able to get, what was that, four plus two, seven pass or six passes. I'm going to do probably two and then one on my, uh, one on my head today. Of course, by taking the water off, I end up having to add more water, but it just seemed to work really good yesterday, so. So, so far, I'm really enjoying the synthetic. Being somebody who really uh, likes um, a lot of backbone, this has been really nice for me. The handle is phenomenal. Got a nice... Cool look to it. A little more water and this should be good. Yeah, obviously if you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of uh, a lot of backbone. This wouldn't be the knot for you, but for me, like I said, it's uh, the Blissant is like the anti brush for me. It works, it does its job, but not just too floppy. Now you can see nice lather built up here. Let's go to town. I'm just going to do, so like I said, two real quick passes. Actually, I'm not even going to go with the grain. I'm just going to go across. Yeah, let's do a straight across and then I'll do a, an against the grain. Now what I'll say about this soap, I said I used it yesterday and I don't often repeat um, products right off the bat. But I let David uh, choose what I was going to use today. I 
and he asked if I'd use this, and honestly, I had such a killer shave with it yesterday that I had no problem using it again today. It's very clean, refreshing. And what I, uh, I guess you would kind of call it an aquatic with uh, what I pick up is citrus. Um, to me, it's a lemon citrus. But I may be way off base, I don't know. Where I think this, this really shines is the aftershave. Put that on yesterday, like I said, and about five hours later I still smelt it. And the closest thing I can compare the scent of the aftershave to is 4711. And 4711 goes away real quick. You're lucky if you get 30 minutes on that scent. So to me, to have a scent that's similar, it's not an exact match, it's not meant to be, I'm sure, but a similar enough scent with that kind of longevity is huge. What I could see is I could see me pairing it with 4711 and using the 47 as the aftershave and then before I were to head out use the use this as a uh, cologne of sorts sorry I haven't done videos lately but uh, Honestly, since Christmas Eve, I've been going through some stuff. Found out my engine is going on my car. Full of sludge. And honestly, I don't have the uh, cash flow to uh, fix it. Which would basically be requiring me to get a whole new engine. And being it's our only car, kind of a big deal. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, Got to figure out if I can swing a loan or something to get a used car. Even though car payments are going to be a, a pain, to say the least. I'll get something pretty cheap. All right, good shave, especially for this late in the day. Go to my head real quick. I said I did a good head shave yesterday, but uh, I want to be smooth tonight. So I'm just gonna do one pass against the grain and. Call it quits, and then after shave up. Yeah, so the car thing got me bummed, so it definitely led to. I found that out Christmas Eve, um, right after my boys left. So that definitely put a damper on the holidays. Kind of just made me depressed and such, and trying to figure out what was going to go on. And then yesterday, this package showed up out of nowhere from uh, David and. Right in my mood. Obviously, didn't fix my problems, but uh, it was uh, perfect timing to lift my spirits. It's funny, even with just a day's growth, this G-Bar is not, uh, still kind of clogging a little bit, so 
Figured one day's growth with a super close one, I could get away with it today. But you can kind of see, if I can show you. See right back there. That's not just soap, that's hair caught up in there. So as much as I like shaving with it on my head because it's, it's very efficient, or not efficient, but uh, you know, nice and smooth and effortless, as in you don't have to worry so much about its aggressive nature, it does not work well. What I did find was yesterday I used this star with a 19, I think it's 1912 style head. That thing worked really well. So. Cleaning some of that hair off to finish this up. Oh, I should be able to finish without doing that again. Expecting this to be a little quicker, but also wasn't expecting clogging issues. So you go watch my Packers play. Arizona, I expect them to lose. I hate to admit that. But uh, Arizona is a stellar team, and Green Bay has been playing like garbage. So wouldn't be out of the possible, out of the norm, or out of expectations for us to lose today. Did I not? Oh wow, that's weird. Must not have gotten much on the back of my head because what was back there is dry. And I obviously, it didn't dry out on the top of my head or the sides, so. Very odd. Because obviously you can see it's a moist lather. Right? So I must not have uh, been paying attention. I wonder why I felt uh, a little awkward. When I pulled, looked at the razor, there was no cream on there, or so. Had hoped to keep this under 10 minutes, but blew that one out of the water. But yeah, so this scent is very, very nice. Um, cold water real quick. It's, uh, I'm learning to really like some of the aquatics. Yeah, it feels nice. Um, but this has, like I said, that citrus blast to me. Gives it that real fresh hit. But honestly, this, as good as the soap is, the scent really, really explodes on this aftershave. So to me, that's the, the true winner of the combo. Oh, yeah. I like how easy that head shave was. Well, overall but no real touch up. So it's kind of making me think I might want to do a, a daily one pass. We'll see. So that's what I got guys. Um, David, once again, thank you. Um, this scent is really, really nice. It's got a nice cooling effect too. Um, the skin feel of this stuff and the soap is phenomenal. Got plenty of lather. You know, there's a good amount here, which you can see it could definitely take some more water. So, as always, I love Beaver Woodwright, but they're aftershavers. Aftershaves, I'm a believer. Um, one use so far, first impression, I could put it up there with PAA. Um, it's got that kind of longevity, good face feel. You've got good ingredients in there. Alcohol, water, witch hazel, aloe vera juice, vitamin E, glycerin, menthol, and then the fragrance or essential oils. 
So all things I like, I like the witch hazel, I like the aloe alcohol, probably my favorite kind of combination. That's what um, PA does as well. So um, actually I'll post a picture about it. I'm going to try to ask because I've got the soap smooth, I've got some Van Ule, and I've got some K Shave Works to try. So if you got put down below what you might want me to try, which one of those three brands, um, I'll also probably post a picture in a group or two and see what people pick. So everybody God bless, got to get to my game. And we'll catch you later.